I'll go ahead and start. As you know, we had an HMP 3010 that's been discontinued, and they now have an HMP 4000 and an HMP 2500, which is kind of like what we call a budget model. An HMP 4000 got a new larger touchscreen. It's going to be operated very similar to such as a smartphone or a laptop. It has eight direct accessible measuring inputs for analog sensors. 38 total sensors can be connected simultaneously. It has 100 different measuring channels that can be displayed right on the HMG. It's a much faster acting unit and automatic device set up when using the HSI sensors. This one will have a CAN bus interface directly built into the unit. With CAN bus, you can tie up to 28 CAN bus sensors into the unit. It's got many more inputs on it. Analog inputs, which are the black sockets. Blue socket is for digital inputs, such as your frequency. The red is going to be strictly for CAN bus. And the yellow socket is for a programmable input output length, such as a pressure, temperature, or level switch. And you've got different connection options now. You've got the push-pull M12 connector or the standard screw-type M12 5-pin connector. Channels A through H connect up to eight HSI automatic sensors, just TCMs or TWSs, or you can connect up to eight analog sensors where you would program those sensors into the system frequency, which is generally used for RPM, and that'll take you from 100 to 30,000 hertz. On the CAN bus, it would be one connection. You can tap into the end of it or tap in midstream up to 28 HCSI pressure transmitters. These are special transmitters for CAN bus and the connection team you can see down below. Now you can record up to 28 different CAN messages on that one bus, J1939, process data object can open or the service data object can open on there. So this will tap in directly without an interface. The yellow socket is where you can put in a programmable pressure, temp, or level switch. You can actually set the switch points from the HMG, additional settings, display the value, display the part number, serial number, and set up parameters. Now, the nice thing about this, it's much more powerful than what the old HMG 3010 was. You can take up to 100 different measuring channels that can be displayed on it on the unit. And if you look at it, like at each smart sensor, such as our TCM, actually sends out 10 channels. Below, you would have 30 channels through three TCMs, five channels through the HSI smart sensors, 28 CAN signals, and you also have four channels that are programmable functions that you can tie in there, and that would be 67 right there. You also have a direct thumb drive where you can download the program into it directly to the memory stick. There's a USB slave interface, connect to a PC. You also have your charging input on the back. And if you look at all the measuring and recording times, the memory on this is much greater than what it was on the other unit. All eight analog measuring channels, as well as the frequency inputs, can be operated simultaneously at the fastest measuring rate of a tenth of a millisecond. And if you're using CAN channels, calculated or frequency channels are active, or if the smart sensors are connected, you're going to have some peculiarities in the measuring rate of the sensors. Measuring rate can be increased stepwise up to an hour, and the recording time ranges from 10 seconds up to 28 days. The unit can store up to 8 million measured values, 500 measurements of this size can be stored. They also have additional triggers. You can set up to four triggers for measured value, external signals, additional start-stop trigger with a start and end condition, and you can also link these triggers together. Measured display are in the form of a table or a panel. Recordings, the measured values are recorded online in real time and displayed on graphs and tables, and you have four different recording processes, endless, single, event control, and event log. An endless recording means it's going to, once you press recording, it's going to continue to record that to manually stop. On a single recording, the measured curve is initiated manually, displayed graphically online. It ends automatically after a preset recording time. Event controlled through the triggers, a measurement curve will be initiated automatically and displayed online and or ended if the predefined triggers occur. In event log, the measured values are stored in the form of a table with a timestamp actual measured values, optional with the min and max values of each active channel. Your measured value lines are generated via the triggers. In your similar display tables and panels, this is where you're going to have much easier navigation through it because it's going to be just like your smartphone or an iPad using the same 
symbols that you would on your phone to enlarge. And if you tapped on a measurement channel, the related information would be displayed directly there during the recording, so you can actually track the ones you want. But while you're doing that, you are not deactivating that signal, so it's still recording. You can change the axis and zoom in on a specific curve, and then you can tap and drag on the table and scroll bars and move through the X and Y direction while the measurement is running. The unit will come with new HMG Wing software. It's functionally the same as the old version. You can also tap this unit in directly into a laptop without a driver and store your measurements. Nice thing, we can get the free updates for the HMG directly online, and there'll be some updates that are coming probably in the next couple of months. Some of the software is being updated as we go. HMG 2500, this is going to be a budget unit. has less functions than the 3010, but one thing to be aware of, you have four sensor input channels for three analog inputs. You can only use the HSI automatic sensors on this unit. You cannot program a 4 to 20 milliamp non-HSI sensor on this unit. Whereas before on our 3010, we could plug into someone else's sensor and it would scale it. You cannot do that on this one. There'll be no touch screen on this. It'll be the same exact directory that you used before with the scroll pad. And you have one virtual channel, which is channel E, and the sensors have to be connected to channel A and B. So you could actually develop horsepower by tapping in a pressure and a flow gauge to A and B. But you can connect up to a smart sensor, a TCM, TWS, and 32 measurement channels will be displayed at one time. Very similar to the 3010 that you're familiar with. Curve measurement, event log, and measuring display will be in there. Same view you would get on the old unit. Memory's been up. 500 measured values, much faster than the old unit. PC connection will be the same. You can use a USB port or serial port. And it has the upgraded HMG Win software. We're going to do this a little differently than we did with the HMG. You're going to basically purchase the data logger you want, the 4,000 or 2,500, and each individual sensor and cable would be bought for that purpose. Same thing as before for market applications, maintenance department, service department, test rigs, any of our Schroeder distributors, and service organizations are going to find this a useful tool. And that's what we got. We'll have those in stock next week. Thanks. Whether it's a helpful how-to or a new product release, Schroeder Industries is your place for fluid filtration. Subscribe below.